My apologies for being late. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, <laughs> Shelly, Mary, look at you. You're all grown up. Long time no see, Helmer. These guys look yeah. about the same. Show some respect. It's really only the main characters that right. change the way they look. That's the other weird thing. Feel like, I've got like all these side the characters place. look the same. Why couldn't the main Mary. characters look the same? Are you still working on your act? Yeah. Right now we're kind of busy, but pretty soon I'm going to be the best comedian in this star cluster. Even if my sister <laughs> won't be my partner. You know, I've been thinking about recruiting the little master. That sounds great. I think he'd be perfect. Right. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have good news. There's been some disturbing activity, and not just from the remnants of you, Tick. Yes. Under the circumstances, the peace treaty was our only choice 14 years ago. But it was hardly a unanimous decision. Now, we're starting to see the strain from that within the Federation. According to Captain Roman's report, certain factions have begun showing signs of armed rebellion. The Second Milshan government is on full alert. I'd like all of you at the Foundation to be appropriately cautious as well. After all, with the Zohar emulators and the 100 series prototype in your possession, you've become the focus of a great deal of attention. Master Guinan, I've brought Momo. The 100 series prototype. Of course. Send her in. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the 100 series observational unit prototype. Designation, Momo. The preliminary examination of my internal data is now complete. A 100 series realian. You're the enhanced memory model, aren't you? Nice to meet you. She does look more like her than the mass-produced ones do. More like her. <clears throat> yes. She's just like Dr. Mizrahi's late daughter. Oh! Did they say that in part one? That's... That's a whole other thing. Oof. Hmm. The hand of fate is a mystery. Thank you, Momo, for overcoming so much in order to come here. Soon you will undergo analysis at the UMN Control Center. We intend to do everything in our power to support the process. Please, just try to relax and fulfill your duty. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your concern. I feel like some of the differences in like the looks of the characters and voices like Momo's wouldn't have been quite as hard if I hadn't Something I need just to... finished the other one yesterday. You want reconnaissance, don't you? If I had waited the time it actually took between the two games to come out. Sorry. No need to apologize. It is my family's responsibility. I think the story's really slow right now. I Maybe mean, they're just setting up. Now, Elbido, where are you? Nigredo. Well, hello then. You sound like you're doing well, unfortunately. And you're glib as ever. What's wrong? 
Are you a lonely little baby? Oh, I'm just doing a little information gathering. Of course, it still isn't too late for us to come to terms. Oh, so now it's peace talks, huh? Didn't McCartney say that too? Ebony and Ivory live together in perfect harmony. <laughs> but I know your true form. What about Paul McCartney? Executioner. I shed that skin long ago. Is that so? You sure you're not just hanging around? He was quoting like waiting for the chance to carry Ebony and Ivory. Mission. That's like I'll be that's not the Beatles. Soon. I don't need you though. Still, I look forward to your efforts nonetheless. Wait. No! Oh, scary, scary. You've always been two-faced, you know? Offering life in the one oh, it, Okay, it was Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder, though. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, I know it was Stevie Wonder. I didn't realize it was Paul McCartney with him. So he's talking about Paul McCartney, like, how far in the future? So he really intends to link with Udu no matter what. I mean, good for McCartney, I guess. What does he want with Rubido? His legacy lives on a long time. Ugh, what the hell is he this eating? Rocks. <laughs> I get it. Curry. So this is where your curry comes from. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? By the way, how's Momo? Is she done already? They told us the main examination will start tomorrow. There don't seem to be any problems. Yeah, so since we had some free time, we thought we'd visit the city. I see. What about you? Did you turn over Cosmos already? <sighs> yeah. I had Alan take over the process. It might take some time, though, depending on what else crops up. <clears throat> Did something happen over there? You don't look very happy. <sighs> you know how it is. We've been together for a long time, so... Saying goodbye is... Well, you know. Hmm. That tough, huh? Well, yeah. Think about it. What if you had to give up your precious telescope? How would that feel? Oh, that would be tough. My wallet and my heart would both grieve. Told you. Please, do you really have to compare Cosmos to Junior's collection? <laughs> Good afternoon, boss. Hey, welcome back. What a coincidence. Jen. Just now, Shen was... Avoiding her brother? <laughs> huh? You're praying? Your chest? You're playing the drums? Man, I give up. What are you trying to say, Xion? Not so loud. <gasps> Xion? And a voice I've heard somewhere before. Oh, hi. Long time no see. Okay. I'm Jin. Jin Uzuki. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure's mine. You guys have met each other before. So I guess they don't remember. It's been 14 young. years. Tell me, Out of their has my foolish sister been causing you trouble? Foolish? 
quite the opposite. You know, we're actually very much in her debt. Truly. You know, you don't have to be nice just because she's here. Jin! It appears I'm not very welcome here, am I? Oh, come on. I didn't say that. I just... Uh, hey boss. I'll have what they're having, please. Extra spicy. Hey, listen to me when I'm talking to you. I am listening. So, what were you saying? Forget it. It's just not worth it. So weird. Like, the faces don't express anything. <laughs> like, like, they're, like, they, I don't know. Like, it's an old game. I don't expect you much, but they did so much better with it in episode one, you know? You know, you could have called me. I would have come to meet you. So, how long are you here anyway? I feel like the lines I, aren't horrible, I'm but they're busy. delivered the so like... The I'm here is because I got a sudden assignment. I have to spend tonight getting ready for the return trip. Huh? Hey, I thought you said... Ow! Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's nothing, really. Like, they can't actually smile or anything. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Or hey, frown. How's it going? Listen, about Cosmos, it looks like the tertiary equipment code's gonna take a little while. Probably about two or three days at least, I'd say. So I guess we could just take it easy for a while, okay? <laughs> uh, Chief? Is something wrong? You look kind of upset. Oh, Alan. Uh, I'm guessing this isn't a practical joke. What? Nothing. Your timing is so perfect. Thank you. Huh? Wait, Chief! They can look annoyed or angry. So Eyebrows work. You'll be taking it easy for a while, hmm? Okay, fine. I'll come back home, all right? Will that satisfy you? Oh, right. Would the two of you like to come visit? It's not far from here. Well, what do you think? I don't know. It's a family reunion. We'd probably just be in the way. Wouldn't we? Eh. <laughs> Of course, uh, we could also take you up on your offer, just for a little while. Alright, I'm really not in the mood for it, but I'll go home for a visit anyways. It's always a little away from the city, but it's not that far. Bye. That's the, that's, that's the way that they're doing it. It's emotionless. Alright. I don't have any money, so everything's free, right? Have a JRPG with no money. I'm trying to think of another one. Can you guys think of a JRPG that you don't have money in shops and stuff?
A weird lady took the teddy bear daddy gave me. Can you please get the teddy bear back? Sure. Got our first side quest! The quest for the teddy bear. I found someone I can talk to. Well, I think I've fallen madly in love. He's a drifter named Sydney. It's a little wild, but that just makes him much cuter, you know? Anyway, I want to talk, tell him how I feel, but he just loves traveling around. I have no idea where he is right now. So I came up with an idea for this letter. I call it Operation Lovey Love Letter. Lovely Love Letter. With this, no matter where Sydney is, you will know the heat of this passion consuming me. Please find my beloved Sydney and give him this letter overflowing with my love, my heart, my soul. Oh, okay, this one actually says it's Global Samaritan Campaign, yeah. And we got a love letter. Did the teddy bear one not count? No, it did, okay. Gray is in progress, blue is success, red is failed. All right, so that's the teddy bear. Number nine is the teddy bear. Number one, this is number one, okay. Is um delivering this letter. Some of these campaigns can be perma failed, so a guide might be necessary. Really? <sighs> I'd rather not have to use a guide. The whole point is we're doing like a blind playthrough, right? Like it's the first time I've ever played it. I don't know what I'm doing. We may, is it is it a big deal if I just fail them? You know what I mean? Not that I want to fail them, but I'm just saying like, if I were to fail them, is that gonna be like horrible? Not really. I don't have to complete everything. I mean, I'd like to try and pass them. I'm just, I don't know if I want to be like, you know, playing the game and then like consulting a guy, and then playing the game and then like looking at something the guy and typing away and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how much fun that'd be to watch because I don't know how fast I'd be reading while streaming. I'm trying to read chat. <laughs> There's some fishy looking men wandering around here a little bit ago. They're looking for a vector power battery. It was such a beauty. She loves that teddy bear daddy gave her. Jacqueline to Sydney. Where did she say Sydney was? <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, we're gonna fail the first one. I know his name is Sydney. I should just look around town for someone named Sydney. Thank you. 
Oh, she doesn't know. Her whole pain hinges on holding a random stranger's letter, hoping to find them. Gotcha. All right. See you when you get back. Bless you. Hmm. Okay. We'll just be on the lookout for them. Hey, Leo. Think for flowers, especially trying to find some legendary seed. Share the machine below one through ten. Whoa, that is the found the forbidden device, a relic from the golden era of the UMN transport system experiments on living beings. You want to know the history of its instruction? Well, it was built when the information regarding the UMN architecture leaked from Vector to private enterprises. Would Vector really let? Their top secret UMN related technology and data leak out like that? I think not. The theory is that the leak was actually an intentional move in order to scout out highly skilled personnel for Vector. Using the leaked UMN architecture art information, the private enterprises began secret UMN transport experiments on living beings. But as you know, the results were a complete disaster. The death rate of the test subjects was a horrifying 99.76%, which implies someone survived. The Federation government viewed the results with stern displeasure and for all intents and purposes they froze any further UMN transport experiments on living beings. At the time rumors were rampant that Vector, who does hold quite an influence over the Federation stayed silent, did not protest the decision because they had already completed gathering their personnel. But I think they may have been just taking a moral stance not to create any more controversy. After the live transport experiments ended, transport experiments in virtual space became the standard. The data and private enterprises in reference during that time was naturally those that had leaked from Vector, but Vector remained silent as long as the experiments were not done on human beings. I think the most likely reason for this lies in the difficulty in suppressing the leaked information and the ability to harvest encephalon-related data from civilian enterprises. What wasn't revealed was that Vector, who was in charge of UMN construction and management, actually continued to perform transport experiments on living beings. It's unknown whether the private enterprises knew that or not, but in any case, passion for living creature transport experiments using virtual space gradually waned. Currently abandoned research facilities used by numerous private enterprises to conduct encephalon experiments remain scattered in various places. We call them research facilities. It's a bit of an overstatement. They're nothing more than encephalon dive devices. The device below was said to be the absolute worst type of encephalon device create, developed for transport experiments on living beings. Why is that, you ask? The encephalon it constructs affects the real world. However, because the project was halted in its early stages, there is hardly anyone who knows what the dive device even looks like. The effect it has in the real world is extremely small. It merely causes diving devices to appear, and so far only four cases have been reported. Even if someone were to come into contact with the device that appeared, no danger of diving unless a special machine called a sequencer is used. Disenge disengage the key protection. Also, it's been confirmed that diving out of the encephalon allows individuals to return to the real world. But still, no one should touch the machine below. It's extremely dangerous. Interesting. <laughs> All right. My home in the foundation is on foundation. After you left, you to fight my phone. Last time you ever saw him, that sucks. Dangerous area ahead, entrance is prohibited.
Let's see if we can find Maple's teddy bear. Are you chasing me? You know who I am? I'm the ultimate master thief. Mm. Okay. That was it. Good to know. You didn't steal a teddy bear, did you? What's you? Get this. Amelia, the love of my life, just dumped me. I'm so shocked. What's with you? Fine then. Let's see if you can keep up with me. Bonnie person. I think we can keep chasing her. No trespassing. Hey, wait. You just don't give up. It's not like it's even your teddy bear. Ah, oh, she did take it. That doesn't matter. Give it back. Hey, okay, I'll give it back. Look around at your feet. I gave it back. You can have it. Oh. There's no use trying to stop me. Do you think I'm gonna wait just because you say so? I told you I'm a master thief. Have you ever even ever heard of a thief stopping because someone asked her to? Yeah, right. Adios. There you go, Taylor. We're having a bit of a problem. Below us is the second mill water purification system, and it seems the water's condition. Water conditioning nano machine dispensers have gone haywire. If things stay like this, no one will be able to drink the water. All that needs to be done is go down there and destroy all the broken dispensers, but there are just so many of them. Waterworks personnel are down there already. Would you be interested in giving us a hand? Sure. Really, thanks so much. Another quest? Looks like it. Technician is already down there, so if there's anything you don't understand, just ask him. Also, if this job goes well, I'll give you a little something to say thanks. Be sure to talk to him. Okay. 